be very careful on your jobs and at church in your play areas and your families. If someone suddenly turns on you, if someone suddenly comes at you with an attitude and you're thinking, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. Assume it came from a demonic realm to bring your your morale down. So what you do if wow. they start to act like that, you whisper under your breath, I bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. And I command you to stop using this person against me right now. You wow. cover your mouth when you say it. You can whisper it. The demons will hear you. That person won't know that they're being used as a as a dummy on a ventriloquist lap. But right, right. But the bottom line is, you know, recognize that, understand that kind of stuff may happen more frequently, and don't get dismayed by it. Don't be hurt by it. See it for what it is. Pat. Yes. You know, I was talking about the same exact thing earlier. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was just on the phone telling my um, cousin about a customer the other day did exactly what you're talking about. The last day I was at work on Friday, she did exactly that. She was normal for months. Go to her house, treat her house, treat her house, uh, no problems. She always been nice. And all, all of a sudden, she was just completely confusing to me. She was just saying a lot of stuff about I wasn't doing this right, I was doing that wrong. She went calling the office saying that she had multi multiple complaints on me. So confusing. Wow. Like confused me. Like I literally couldn't even talk straight, think straight. I'm like, I'm so like baffled. I was like, wait, what? 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 Because I saw it all in the comments on the um order. She said all this stuff that I was doing this and putting words in my wow. mouth saying that I was saying that I was telling her to do stuff, which I didn't. Right. Like, wow. And I was and I didn't think what you just said. I know that's, you know, obviously because the enemy uses all of us up at certain points. Right. And we allow him. But I didn't think, you know, quickly that, oh, wait, you know. Right. And that's why I'm telling you guys now, because I want you to think ahead of time. Mm -hmm. One time I was going to the hair salon. I had read scripture right before I walked out the door. And mm -hmm. the Lord had led me to scripture. I can't remember what it is now. That was 20 some years ago. But the Lord was letting me know through that scripture. I was like, why are you giving me this scripture now? I don't like that. That doesn't sound like good news. And as soon as I got in the door, bam, the hormones, the, the, uh, the menopause, the pre- uh, the, uh, the premenstrual, postmenstrual, whatever was going on that day was coming at me like white on rice. And Ooh. I said, whoa, that's why you gave me that word. And you know what it did? It That word shielded me so much. Nobody got me upset. Nobody ruffled my feathers. Nobody hurt my feelings. I saw it for what it was, a demonic attack period. And that was it. And the day was Ooh. over and the next day was just fine when I went. And God had warned me through his word. This is going to be one of those weird days. Don't mm -hmm. trip. This is what it's from. Mm, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. And so that's why, you know, the way God deals with me, I try to deal with people too. Sometimes we need to be forewarned so that we don't get tied up in the storm that somebody that that a demon is trying to brew over us mm -hmm. because God's word is our umbrella and our raincoat yeah. and our galoshes. We don't get wet, we don't get cold, we don't get hurt. But I also left a part out too when I was speaking with her too. She the more she kept talking, the more I started getting a headache. Uh huh. There it is. There it is. The that shows it was like. But I felt them not like I don't know. I don't know when I have to start feeling the headache. But when she started talking, it's like that headache started skyrocketing. I, I held my, I held my, you know, I, I stayed professional. Good. The phone, I spoke with her, kind of asked her, you know, what do you mean by all this stuff? Like, you know, she just was talking, and my head was hurting. <laughs> right. But yeah, that makes sense. Though. Okay. Now here's another one. This is a good one too. 
when I was at church two weeks ago, a lady walked up to me. We had always been on jovial terms, always been friendly, three weeks ago, I believe. Always been friendly, had nothing but nice things to say to each other, casual but friendly. And always complimenting each other. I love her hair, the whole nine yards. She came up to the car, did not say hello to the lady I rode with, did not say hello to me, just laid in. I know what you did last Sunday. I know what you did and I don't appreciate it. You, uh, you pushed me and you did it on purpose. A and I'm thinking, okay, this, tri this girl is tripping, another demonic trip. So I'm like, okay, well, I really don't know what you're talking. Yes, you do. You did it. You know, you knew you did it. And I know you did it on purpose. Don't even try it. And I said, okay. And she said, from now on, you keep your hands to yourself. And she storms away feeling great about telling me off. And I'm looking at her like, whatever. <laughs> so wow. anyway, wow, so uh, yeah. So when they started communion, See, this is where love kicks in. I knew Satan used her. She did not. Satan probably pushed her while Absolutely. I was standing behind her. Right. Because demons will do that. So, yep. so what ended up happening, I mean, we're in line to take communion and she thinks I pushed her. So anyway, so here we are. She goes up to say something to somebody passing in front of me. And when she came back, I stopped her and I said, I just wanted to say, even though I don't know what you're talking about, I apologize. Then she smiled and gave me a kiss on the cheek. What? Isn't wow. that crazy? Isn't that crazy? That is. That is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I know that there are times when I've heard people say that they got slapped in the face by a demon and they felt a physical slap. They were not dreaming. They were awake. Mm -hmm. For example, one lady mm -hmm. said when she was a little girl, they had a Ouija board in the house that they played with uh, all the time. Go. Okay? And she said that one day she was outside and she said that as she was running across her yard playing, she felt this hand haul off and slap the daylights out of her. I can believe that. That's wow. crazy. Because when That's you play crazy. the Ouija board, you open the model. That's a portal. Right, Ouija right. Ouija boards and are see, a portal, portal for demonic entry. Right, and a lot of Christians do different things in their lives or say things or whatever at, or harbor things in their heart. And they don't know that they have opened the door for the demonic, even though they're not playing with the, the uh, occult, even though they're not dabbling in witchcraft. If they have bitterness in their heart, unforgiveness in their heart, right. resentment in their heart, that too opens doors for the demonic. And the demons can sit them on their laps and use them like they're a big old dummy while the, while the demon is the ventriloquist and they can use them to attack the other members of the body of Christ. And if the other right. members are not discerning what's going on, they'll get caught up in nonsense that doesn't even have any substance. So, so that. that's why we have to be careful. If Satan can use a brother or sister in the Lord against us, he can easily use an unsaved person. Right. So we have to be aware now in these last days with all this evil being loosed in our legal system, on the, on the media, all over the place in the atmosphere these witches conjuring up demons we have to be aware that every time a person comes against us count it all as a demonic attack don't start taking it personally don't start mm -hmm. feeling like you have to waste your energy defending yourself mm -hmm. let god fight your battle and i say that because God will make the people reading those reports, Rashad. They'll say, well, look at all this time. This woman's been happy as a lark. Now, where'd this come from? Mm -hmm. You see, God will make them see the nonsense without you having to defend yourself. Wait, Pat, what was that? My connection cut out when you said 
um, talk about the order, looking at the order notes. Or okay, when they look, okay, when they read her complaints or anybody's complaints, God will knock holes in it and make it look as stupid as it is because they can look at the history and see it's been nothing but positive, positive, positive. Why now all of a sudden this? Oh, okay. So you don't have to fight and defend yourself. You let God do that. You let God make you come out smelling like a rose, no matter how many fires Satan tried to ignite around you. Amen. This is, it's called, it's spiritual. We're constantly fighting because we're in a fallen world. Yep. So since this world is fallen, you're just dealing with people that are broken. As I said before, hurt people hurt other people. Right. We're living in a world of people and especially as the Lord said in his word that their hearts will become hardened where it's just a basic common sense that people just don't have anymore. Mm -mm, that's right. The compassion and the empathy it's just that it's not there because their hearts have grown cold. Right. And people are just cold hearted today. And there's no loyalty in people, you know. I mean, just a basic friendship is hard to have because people are so desensitized because they want to text. They don't even want to talk to each other anymore. Right. It's just, Amen. A, it's just a time oh, where, you know, the Lord said that the time will be here and it is here. Mm -hmm. That's when right. When you look at the state of man and humanity, the time is here. 